guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here thank you so much for clicking my name is Samiria Masuga so guys today I'm going to do something different from the one that I usually do in my videos uh, if you're not new to my channel I usually cook uh, I do cooking videos but today guys I've decided to do something quite different I'm going to show you how I make my doormat using a sack yes i said a sack guys so this is something that I've, I've been trying and it really came out so well so i thought why should i not show you guys how i do it so here is a sample of what i did and i loved it you can see i used a sack and when i say a sack this is the sack that i'm talking about i know almost every one of you knows about this sack so this is the one that i'm going to use in this video this sack goes for around 50 shillings 50 kina shillings here yeah. and yeah this is what you're going to use in this video i know that you're going to try it out and i also know that you're going to love it so just to show you a few things that you're going to use in this video we have a crochet this is a crochet i got mine from this lady at 100 shillings here you can as well find this in your local cosmetics so this is what you're going to use to knit the second thing that you're going to need in this video is a thread uh, this is the thread that's supposed to be used to make a doormat it should be this thick guys don't use the other thin one i think i have a sample here don't use this one this one is the one that's supposed to be used i usually buy mine at wholesale so i got this at 60 kenya shillings and i have this one i have this black one and i have this white one so this is the combination that i'm going to use to make today's doormat another thing that you're going to use is a thread sizer and we're going to use this to cut the thread into equal pieces I'm going to show you guys how this is being used and if you don't have this I'm also going to show you an alternative to this I got mine at 50 Kenya shillings and you also need a marker pen this is what I'm going to use to design you guys are going to see how I'm going to use this and we also need scissors this is what I'm going to use to cut the thread and finally we have our sack I showed you this earlier on yeah so we're also going to use a sack it goes for 50 Kenya shillings anywhere uh, yeah so guys that's what you're going to need for today's video and without much ado let's just get started we're going to begin by shaping our sack so we're going to cut the side so that we can achieve a square shape you can cut it into any shape that you want your doma to be you can make it heart shaped you can make it rectangular depending on how you want your doma to be now one thing to note here is that the edges should be straight and to achieve this you're going to follow a straight pattern when cutting so that we can avoid so so many lumps in the edges of our mat. I hope I'm making sense but guys everything is just clear from the video as you can see. I'm done with the shaping and now I'm going to use the marker pen to design and you can make any shapes depending on how cute you want your match to be and guys I know that you're going to think that I'm left handed I'm not it's only that I was using a front camera which decided to make me left handed <laughs> so what I'm doing there I'm, I'm writing the color that I'm going to put in that particular part and that's green and this outer one i'm going to put white i know it's going to come out pretty well you can use this design of mine or you can even go to the internet and look for other designs that you can use to make your doormat really cool uh, so that's black i'm going to put black in that particular part and this other one i'm going to make a circle and i'll also use black in there And in this final part, I'm going to, to put white. So I'll use white. And for the remaining parts, I'll put green because I want, I want my doormat to be full of green. Yeah, this doormat is going to come out so well. It's going to be pretty, guys. Trust me. 
so this is my final designing i'm going to go in with black there black there white green green the whole of that part i'm going to use green and then white and then green so let's begin off and we are going to begin by sizing our thread we are going to use a thread sizer i had mentioned this before so what you're going to do is that you're going to rotate the thread around that thread sizer as you can see from the video and you can make it as thick as you can so that you can't waste a lot of time sizing the thread another thing to note guys don't cut the whole thread because you might not use the all of it as well so i'll advise you to cut two lumps at a time two lumps at a time so that if you have a remaining one you can always keep it for future use so once you're done just cut the top and the bottom as you can see from the video uh, the good thing with this thread sizer it has holes so you're just going to insert your scissor in there and you're going to cut the top and later on the bottom so that you can have the same size of a thread and for those of you who don't have a thread sizer don't worry i'm going to show you an alternative to this but i would advise you to go and get it because it's very very accurate and it also saves time so this thing goes for around 50 shillings guys so just go and get it now the alternative to a thread sizer is to wrap the thread uh, around your fingers as you can see from the video yeah the the only disadvantage with this is that you're going you're not going to wrap so many and then it's not so accurate because we are not even sure if the sizes are equal but if you do have a thread sizer you can as well go in for this now once you're done it's now time for knitting we are going to go in with a crochet we are going to insert it as you can see and then take a thread insert into the crochet and then close the lumps then pull then take the remaining thread and pull the whole of it i hope guys you can see from the video it's very clear in the video than how i'm um, explaining it so i'm going to repeat this many 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 times so that you guys can actually get to see what i'm doing here so just keep watching and uh, i used like three quarters of the thread as you can see that's what's remaining uh, so next i'm going to 
go in with white that area and that area So I'm done with the white part guys and I used like a third of the thread. You can see it's still full, it's still full guys. So I used like a third of it and the next one uh, I'm going to go in with black and it's going to cover the remaining parts, that's that part and that part. we are done our mat is finally over and that's how it looks from the other side it looks all pretty pretty guys and i'm sure that you're going to try this out yeah so the black one i didn't even use as much you can see it's still full i even didn't use a third of it so i have that black green and white so i have threads remaining that i can use to make like two other doormats 
so guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe share these videos with your friends i know there are so many friends of yours who will love to try this out and also don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below so until next time bye